there we go it will record the screen okay thank you so much to rachel and to claire okay so i just i've got i have prepared rather a lot you have the sheets that i've sent out please bear in mind i will i'm going to fit in as much as i can till 5 30 it's not advisable just to keep on going into the night all right um so i and i'm going to err on the side of working slowly and double checking that everybody is clear so effectively claire and rachel you are my remote control okay okay always rather err on the side of absolute inclusiveness um, rather than just you know jump around. there's no point otherwise and in terms of the videos when i put them out i will time stamp them so people can look for exactly what sections they are they are needing to see now in terms of um in terms of the structure i'm going to put these documents up here you actually have seen those online as well i've separated the first stage I can share the documents via the screen, but I'm not going to bother right now because I know you've seen them, right? I can. Sh I, I divided the first stage of this into um, six um, six separate little chapters: national and local governance, campaign targets, numbers, effectively petitions, branding a campaign, Facebook pages and groups, because effectively on Facebook you get yourself a free web domain for your campaign. Number five, mail outs and templates: how to deal with um, dealing with your contacts. And and number six, document saving and sharing. There is much more to go through in the future, but I will break those down into separate bits. And I'm only going to cover today what can be covered. I'm not going to push it in terms of covering everything. As I said, I'll run multiple sessions and they will all be recorded. Okay, so we've said our hellos, etc., etc., etc. I am extremely curious, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you a very basic question. Would you mind just saying exactly what you, if you, if you don't mind, um, exactly what you would like out to get out of this, this mini course? well that's a bit um, I'm, a, I'm not really clear about that one is yes. that I you know I have a, a smartphone and, a, and an iPad and yes. I always been really poor about learning how to use new technology okay. then I'd go to the Mac shop and do their lessons never did so I thought actually okay. sitting down get on and learn something oh, also yeah. I'm part of the um, Kensington and Chelsea um, group of you know of um, yes. and but obviously we're not really meeting at the moment and I just and I and then there's stuff you know that they may that um, we won't be allowed well they're thinking about trying to cut down on on uh, a right to protest in public aren't they yes. anyway. so I thought actually this would be a chance for me to learn a lot more about um, yes. using digital digital use yes. and might be a way of protesting in the future or you know absolutely absolutely yeah. thank you and, so much and it keeps me connected to extinction rebellion when i'm not actually going to the see, see people and out on the streets with them precisely i mean I, I was heavily involved in extinction rebellion kensington and chelsea last year but really and it's the only show in town effectively globally in terms of real significant um, environmental protests so absolutely there's always a way to support way to remain connected rachel if you don't mind if you if you could just tell me what you'd like to um get out if you don't want to that's absolutely fine i can just move on yeah no that's fine yeah um social media um uh things would be uh, useful facebook you know how to, how oh, yeah. to use them more effectively and things like you know getting good videos and content brilliant kind of superb like. superb sorry i interrupted you as i was saying to rachel earlier on i want to just make this 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 huge distinction right now and kind of the joining of this distinction between irl which is this hideous acronym for in real life All right this is what we've come to irl and url and url is uniform resource <laughs> uniform resource location which is another word for w for a website all i want to say is that often when we do actions right we, they get dissipated or the effect of those actions get dissipated because we haven't recorded them and collectivized them and kind of given them a route with which we can continue a particular aim online so that's really what this course is about is it's about having an intention and following through so that you can actually get that campaign held in terms of in, in terms of getting it reach its target so um so so that's fine as i said there's all these stages and i will just do as we go along so i'm just trying to cover the background um 
in terms of my experience as a campaigner, I was the branch secretary for my union for a couple of years. I reorganized the branch. I ran an anti-bullying campaign um, and which changed the, the, the um, managerial policy and, and governor's policy regarding management training. Um, last year, I was a policy coordinator of Extinction Rebellion Kensington and Chelsea and set up a project called Eco Housing, which was an entry level um, uh, sustainability and housing document that got Kensington and Chelsea to change their policy to include sustainability. My current campaign is that I'm now looking at rolling that out across London so that we get together a more significant lobby to change housing, um, to change sustainability and housing policies across London. I'm just giving you some broad entry. I will edit this out as is needed. Okay, right, marvelous. Uh, in terms of equipment, what I recommend you need, obviously, it's your laptop or your desktop, your phone, um, a Google email address, so a, G, a Gmail address, which will give you plenty of other things other than just the Gmail address, which is what is so useful. Um, Facebook and an app called, and I, I honestly, I swear to you, I, I did really try and get the details correct because I wanted it to be a permanent resource. And I misnamed the name of the montage, the photo montage app. And the name isn't layer, uh, isn't montage, the name is layout. But we'll see that in, a, in, 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 in future. And then I've also got sample documents on the G drive, which I will share with you shortly. Okay. Um, so I just want to quickly show you, oh, just to, I want to show you here what I've got for you in terms of, oops, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I need to share a screen, I need to share a screen. I want to show what I've got for you on the G drive, which is my Groundswell Ecosystems at Gmail G drive, so that everything that we discuss today, there are evidence and backup and sample documents for you to have access to, to download, to experiment with, to edit and to mess around with. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly start the, sh the share screen here. All right, and let me go here to this. All right, so you'll see a shared screen. Are you seeing a shared screen? Not yet. It's okay. It's hang on. You are screen sharing. Right. Are you seeing? Hang on a second. Oh, excuse me. Can you see? No, you can't see it yet. Oh, yes. No, it's just come up. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can you see this? Can you see that it? There's a whole lot of folders. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you see at the top, it says an activist digital toolkit. Yeah, these are all the different folders for you. Okay, that show the different example documents that you can use, etc. as you need. They're sample ones from last year when we were organizing a campaign, a petition based campaign to get Kensington and Chelsea Council to declare climate emergency. As it happened, we didn't need that because they declared in advance of us getting to the council meeting. So, but there's lots of samples there. I'm going to start off with government structures here quickly. Come on. Ah, here we go. Right. Excuse me, it's just being a bit slow. Right, so what we've got here is I've got various things that are about really how councils work, council activities, etc, etc, etc. What I have here, just for your reference, let me open this up. Sorry, it's a bit slow because it's sharing. What I have here is a document from the London Eco Housing Project, which is literally a list of all of the London Borough MPs, London Borough Environment or Housing Sustainability Councillors, along with every single email for all of them. It's a database, it's just opening up. Okay, all right, screen sharing. Sorry, this is very slow. Right. Okay, there it is. So as you see there, what we see is the MP, the wards, and if you go further along, don't worry about this if you can't see it all. It will be on it is online and it's available on on my website to have a look at at any point in time. Covers all of the 33 hours of the fact that it's expected to be the week done. I'm just going to show you some example documents that support this. Stop the share. Right, here we are. 
in terms of government systems and structures, I'm not going to be telling you anything right now. I'm fairly sure that you don't know. Now, there are two ways it works. There's the national and there's the local. All right. So we have obviously our MPs who make it to the House of Commons. All right. In terms of collective um, mass, critical mass in terms of people power, obviously you want to get your, your, your issue heard. You want to have it heard. Uh, the way to get, and we're talking here about petitions, critical mass, certain numbers, the way to get your petition heard via the House of Commons, you need to get 10,000 signatures to get a response, and you need to get 100,000 signatures to get that debated in the Commons. Those are just two key facts there, all right? Now, those petitions can indeed come from any source, all right? They've got a government petitions online site, and they've also got the traditional, or not traditional, the, 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 the open market um, petition sites, which are typically change.org and 38 degrees. I'm going to show you a couple of sample campaigns and sample petitions on there in a second. Um, in terms of your local frame of reference, you will have your local MP, right, um, elected every five years, and you will have your local councillor on a four year long cycle. And of course, those councillors are also Labour, Tory or Lib Dem, whatever the party is. So you have a number of routes, right, via kind of national lobbying systems, a petition to get your concern heard in the House of Commons, or in fact, local ones. And in which case that concern would be heard within your local council meeting. They have regular council meetings. Now I'm going to take, for example, what it was like last year to run a petition in Kensington and Chelsea. We wanted to get the climate emergency issue heard in the council meeting. So we set up a campaign, we set up a petition. That's all there online for you. I'm not going to go through all the documents, but a sample petition is there, all the wards are there, all the contact emails are there if you want to see what that looks like. And um, it's different in terms of the local systems. Now, each borough is likely to have slightly different systems, but for Kensington and Chelsea, and again, this is on a document there, Kensington and Chelsea needed 750 signatures to have the issue heard in a scrutiny committee. A scrutiny committee is very valuable because it goes on for an unlimited amount of time. Of course, they do close them down, but and you're allowed to invite anybody to it. In terms of a council meeting, getting your concern, getting your campaign issue heard in a council meeting, you need 1,500 signatures to get that heard. Our recommendation, ideally, if anything, was to go with a scrutiny committee because you can bring people to the table where they're going to clearly scrutinize an issue. What I want to quickly show you, while we move through this, I'm going to work on a an example campaign, which is not a real life campaign. It's an example of how we would go ahead because I can experiment with this without having real world, real world ramifications. What I want to quickly talk about before we move on to the examples is a couple of examples where people power, good and bad, according to what perspective you come from, where people power really tipped the balance. So we all know that last year in Holland Park Road, there was this issue of the cycle lanes. Okay. Now, what happened is some people were lobbying for them, some people were lobbying against, there was this consultation process, and eventually they were shut down. They were largely shut down, and of course, I'm giving anecdotal evidence here, they were largely, largely shut down due to the lobbying power of local residence groups who did not want the cycle lane because they felt that it would diminish house prices. Now, of course, I'm speaking for them. I'm sure I've, that's a travesty of what they would like to say. But that degree of influence from the local, um, the local residence associations changed that debate. And that was an example of bottom up people power. The campaign I want to show you right now, because it mimics, it was actually just very coincidental. The campaign I'm going to show you right now is one which is against the commercialization of Clapham Common. And it was actually ironic because I I had just set up this, this fake campaign, which we can work on, on here to look at the processes. And then this campaign suggestion for a signature came up online. So I'm going to open it up so you can have a look quickly. Right, where are we? Here we are. Oh, excuse me. Let me do, sorry. Let me do another share screen, share screen. Right, here we go. Forgive me. I love it. Tech exemplars. Right, here we are. Right, share takes a bit of time. Screen sharing. Yes, come on. Everything is clearly slowed down because there's different traffic. Right. It's coming up. Right. Save Clapham Common from commercialization. Common land is for the common people. Actually, the day that this arrived on the WhatsApp chat, because obviously there are lots of WhatsApp chats, chats, the day that this arrived, 
was the day that the consultation process was going to be closed down or it was within a couple of hours. When dealing with local and national government, a lot of the time they, they, they give lip service to democracy by opening up consultation periods. You need to be very careful of those because they can open and close quite quickly, okay? And in terms of campaigns, this one was clearly a last minute one because they wanted to, there was, there was going to be a council meeting on this, on this um, consultation. So really in terms of campaigns, um, the, the earlier you know about the consultation process, the earlier you can get started and the earlier you can try to develop some critical mass. But this is just an exemplar. Now the fake campaign that I want to work on with, um, with everybody, with all of you, is in fact one which I've called Save Our Field. Now I'm going to again open this up. Hold on a second. I need to stop the share to start a new share to show you what I'm talking about. It's literally just a fantasy campaign, but it very much is similar to this. Hold on a second. Stop this share. Again, open up another share. Where am I? Here we are. Right. Okay. Save our field. Logo word. Can you see this? That you've got something that says word logo first version. It should be coming up. It's got green around it. It'll open up a word document. Slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> right. Where are we? Okay, here we are. Um, this is just a very easy, quick little logo type of campaign um, focus sort of header logo that I did in Microsoft Word or, and converted that into photo format. All right. Do not worry about its poor quality. I'm going to do another one with us today, showing you the process of how you can create effectively what is a logo for your campaign in Microsoft Word. Now that is a poor one, it's a poor example, but I'll walk you through the process to show you how to do that. So that you effectively get one idea, one title, one brand, for example, a three month long lobbying campaign on a consultation process, for example, about stopping Clapham Common getting uh, commercialized because lots can be done in terms of further down the line in terms of getting the press involved, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the sample, that is the, that is the, the fantasy campaign. All right, let me stop the share here, all right. Okay, um, so I've talked here about campaigns, I've talked about government structures, I'm just going through this, the example campaigns. All right, now what I'm going to show you is I am going to show you this idea of, first of all, I want to talk about the purpose of, um, of, of creating a logo. Now, this is not just to sell trainers, clearly you're not selling trainers at all. This is to create a coherent, central idea. Uh, so that basically when you are going to take your, for example, petition, which is going to be your targeted effectively arrow into local and national government systems to get your issue heard, to, to create some people lobbying power for that, um, is that you're going to have your petition, but you're going to effectively link that up with as many other sources as you can. All right. So it would be Facebook, would be your free web page. You have your logo. You use that on your change.org website. You put that on your social media, your Instagram, your Twitter. You connect all of these things together as well in terms of YouTube so that everything is unified. So for example, a three month long lab lobbying um, campaign, getting ready for a consultation. Okay. Um, uh, so here we go. I'm going to quickly open up the shared screen here and I'm going to talk you through this process. Now it is quite slow. Uh, what I want to show you is obviously we know the expensive programs, the 20 quid a month programs, the, 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 um, the, the Photoshop, etc. I want to take us completely away from having to spend any money and look at what we can do for nothing, which is obviously the purpose of this. So I'm going to go back to sharing screen. There you go. And I'm going to go back to the document, which is save our field. All right, so this is our fantasy campaign. What we do here is how do we create a logo in Word? Can you all see that? Can you see the documents? Can you see the Word document? Yeah, it's not open though, is that right? I've opened it. Can you see it at all? I think I need to share the screen. I think I need to change. Can you see a document that says creating a logo in Word? No. no. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the screen. Hold on a second. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it, the title came up, but, but not the document. Okay, so have, let's have a look here. So I think it's just a bit slow, right? Ah, I know what it is. Okay, so this has gone into, oh, I know what it is. Excuse me, give me a moment. I'm so sorry for the hassle. Right, let me go back here. I'm going to stop this share. 
and I'm going to open another share. So please forgive me. I am getting used to this program, says so she. Here we are. Uh, where is it? This is the one. Fantastic. And you have to be very specific about which one. You got that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Brilliant. Right. Thank you so much. Forgive me. I thought that it would open via the folder. It doesn't work like that. Okay. So there's many, there's, so say for example, look at this image here, this image here, this field. All right. Now this is a fantasy field. I've created this fantasy, fantasy campaign, which is save our field. Barnsley Rec is for everyone. And then the Facebook page or group would be called Barnsley Recreation Ground for All. Okay. Now the idea is obviously that there's a recreation ground somewhere and the council wants to sell off bits of it, but it's immensely used by the local um the local population particularly by young people it's a form of you know mental health therapy it's uh, young people's activities it's the whole works right so people want to continue to have access very much like the clapham common anti-commercialization campaign so what you do is i've got these steps here and again this will be available to you online all right uh, your free open source web clip art, your text boxes, this is what you would need. You convert it to Adobe PDF, and then you convert the PDF to JPEG. And I'll show you how to do every single one of those steps. I'm going to have to be very careful with my screen sharing, because clearly it's not a strength of mine. <laughs> then you crop your JPEG to size, and you create montages on the Montage app. This here, all right, I created some. I'm going to quickly show you another screen. Excuse me. Sharing the screen again, right, where are they? Uh, hold on a second, right. Excuse me. Sorry, I want to show you what this looks like when there are multiple of them in photograph form. Excuse me, teaching folders. I'll just do it here. Word logo first version. You are seeing that I know because you've got the green around the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take these to extra large icons. You see there, I've cre that's actually a photo. Anything that says JPEG is actually a photo. See that there? There I've created a montage with it, can be really useful, and there a multiple image montage, all right? That logo, which is not of good quality, I'm gonna show, fix that in a minute, was entirely created from a Word document originally and turned into a photograph which you can use online with absolutely no payment other than needing a Microsoft Word program, okay? Let me stop this share. You see it's got the green around it. Let me start another share and go back to this one. Right, here we are. Just check that it's, is it green? Yes, it's green, so it's, so it's working, okay. Hold on. Right, so the very first thing you need to do is you need to get a, 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 some clip art, all right? You get clip art and you get free clip art from, from, from Google. If you, any type of image, so I went on Google and I found this image. Now what happens is when you first, let me hide this notification, when you first, obviously you save your document or you copy and paste it, you copy and paste your document into your Microsoft Word um, a page. Then we need to do, what we need to do is we need to be able to move the image around. So when you first paste it, it will be hard to move it around. You see it's got that little square which comes up, which is a nightmare. So what you want to do is you want to turn it to this format, which is very easy to move around. Now I'm going to go slowly with this. Please tell me if, 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 it's, if I'm going too quickly. So what you do is you go here, you take this one, you go to picture tools. This will come up, you get to the drop down. And this is a key one for dealing with images. You take it away from in line with text because that is the problem that gives you no ability to move the image around. And you put it down here to in front of text. And what it does is it means that you can happily move the image around as much as you need. Okay, so there you go. That's we're starting off with our image. That's one I set up earlier. Now what we need to do is we want to make it a little bit bigger so we can, what's that? Sorry, Claire. You th so I don't have Microsoft Word. I think I have to pay to get it on, on an iPad. Do you think I can do similar things in Pages? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Effectively the same. They're pretty much the same types of programs and you can get imitation ones that pretty much so do the same thing. Yes. Okay. 
absolutely okay so now say for example here we want to make this bigger but we want to make it bigger not like that where it becomes stretched i'll just undo that move we want to make this bigger right while it retains its formatting so what you do is you left click your mouse and at the same time you press control you stretch out in the corner and you see it retains its sizing that's how to, it retains its its um its proportions you're pressing c your control button while you're pressing your, your 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 left your left side of your mouse so there we go we've got a bigger image there i'm going to make it a little bit bigger to work with right now i'm going to take this previous one which wasn't particularly pleasant in my opinion it was just a rough sample to check to excuse me it was rough sample to check the just undo that sorry the computer's a bit a bit lackluster under these conditions right there we go that's the one that i'm not particularly fond of at all it was just a sample one so what i want to show now is we've got just a background image effectively a very simple background image now i want to start putting in this text okay so i'm going to go with save our field now i want to have a background color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to insert up here yeah rachel are you all right yeah yeah all good 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 I'm going to go here to shapes because I want a background shape before I start putting text on it. Go to shapes, drop down, and I just want a very basic, you've got all these shapes that you can play with, but I want a very, very basic rectangle here, which is what I've used on the previous one. So I go here, I draw my rectangle, right? And it's just this very mundane blue. Let me just get this one up here so that I can actually um, use it to show you what what we were doing right there we go there's our one as a comparison there's our original one so what we've got here is i've got a background box all right for your text now i want to format that you just tell me what color you want so i'm going to right click on it first of all i go to where i get that little those 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 arrows going across i right click i go to format shape and i want to change the color so you will come up generally with fill you want it on a solid fill we do the drop down okay and let's go choose some more colors i'm going to go to more colors it will give you more options right go to standard and i'm going to play around with these colors any color you want mm -hmm. claire you have a choice pink pink marvelous pink. i'm going to go with a lighter pink we can always work with different texts or with different i'm going to go with a lighter pink for the moment so we can play with that if that's okay there we go there it is right now that's our color now it's got a different color on the lines we want to take it we want to match the line color again right you left click there you get your four little arrows you right click and it will take you to format shape right then you got a line color and we want the same color there it's just been used so we reuse it there all right so what's happening then is we've got our box excuse me what's going on there excuse me come on come on i want line color right here we go here we go i want right we've got our box which is completely clear there right so now we want to put in some text with with effectively what is our campaign title which would be if you wanted to do clapham common don't sell clapham common or save our field which is my example here take away this notification right so now i want to include some text so I go here to insert text box. Yeah, we want to include some text. So I'm going to go here. It's just waking up. All right, and I'm going to go to draw text box. There we go. And here we go. I'm going to draw the text box in there. Right. And now I'm going to start putting in some text. Just mess around with some font. Go home. All right. Drop down. Yeah, I'm just choosing the font. Right, I'm going to go with something quite big and bold. I'm going to go with, uh, let me have a look. I'm going to go with this one, right? Balbi or whatever it's called, right? Whack up the font size and I'm going to say save. Oopsie. our field i can't spell field <laughs> <laughs> i promise you right now that's not very big so i'm going to make it bigger right there we go we'll see save our field okay now of course what i've got there 
is I've actually got, it's going straight through, we don't see the white. So we want to get rid of the white around the text box. You want to play with that. This is one of these things that literally you can just play with until you start to get a hang of and just make a whole lot of mistakes. If you want to go back to check on the video, I will timestamp the video to talk about the different skills. So save our field. Now what we want to do is we want to make that transparent. If you want to go even bigger, I want to just show you a quick thing here because what happens is when you, when you do this, and let me just take out, no, let me do it with no spacing. There you go, no spacing. Hold on a second, Balby. Right, and let's increase the font size, 36. Right, what happens is you do get those gaps in between. You get those gaps in between. You can take that off. There are ways to take that off, but for the moment, I'm just going to go with what we've got. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to see the pink through it, don't we? Okay, yeah. So I'm going to click here, right, left click on, on the text box over here I, with the four arrows that makes it able for us to play around with it. And I want to make that text box completely invisible. So we just see the pink background. Okay. I'm going to right click, go down to format shape. Yeah. And what we do here is we go to when we got our fill section, where it says solid fill, you go to color. Hang on a second. You go to, and you go to no fill. All right. And it will just literally leave you with nothing. There, you've got nothing, you've just got the line. Now you want it just makes it transparent, and then you want to go back here and you want to take away the line, line, color, no line. All right. So there effectively, and I'm just gonna obviously just get rid of the spelling and grammar thing. All right, there we go. And there we have something which is starting to resemble something which could be, it's not in its most ideal state, but it could be something which could be used to head up a campaign consistently over a period of time, for example, over three months, so that you would use that across all platforms. Instead of having to get a website, I mean, I'll show you later on in this mini course, I'll show you how to run a Wix website for those interested for literally five pounds a month. Um, but this, instead of having a website, you'll have a Facebook page for free, and you will then have a central image, a central idea, a central title for a lobbying campaign to reclaim control of a public space that the government or certainly the council should not be selling off, in your opinion. Okay. Now, if you've planned out your timing, you will be able to run that campaign with that same image of Save Our Field. It's like literally like Nike or whatever it is. It's branding. It's good old fashioned branding. You will have that and you can use that right across the board on your Facebook on your, your change.org um, uh, petition or on your 38 degrees petition, on your Instagram, on your Twitter, on all of your press, etc. You have a unified campaign so that you have one central idea that goes right throughout it. Does, does that make sense? Mm. Okay. Now, I'm not, it's not about being gl glamorous or design. You can certainly go down that road if you want. It's simply about having a unified idea to actually not waste your efforts. The idea about all of this is that actions, when they are repeated, become a campaign. And we need to become quite skilled in getting local and national government to listen to us. Now, of course, we've upped the game as Extinction Rebellion over the last couple of years, without a doubt. But we need to refine our game in terms of using these democratic structures. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down here. Barnsley Rec is for everyone. I'm going to create that as our tagline and I'm going to do precisely the same thing. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to do the same thing here with the shapes. I'm going to do it quickly and I'm going to go put it underneath here. And when you want to move it along, you just again right click it. There you go. And I'm going to just right click that again to pink it just like we had it. Just precisely the same process. Again, if you need to look at this on, um, there's always access to watching the video. So I'm just that's exactly what we've just done there. Now I'm going to do the same thing here with the same font. And I'm going to go with the tagline, which I've created, which is Barnsley Rec is for everyone. All right. So I'm going to just do the same thing. We need a separate text box on top of it so that you've got more control over the text. A question. Yes, of course. Did, did you say that when you've created this, this, um, this yes. thing that, that it has, it, it has a limited period you're allowed to lose it for. Did you say you could only use it for three months or can you use it as long as the campaign is ongoing? Oh God, use it as for as long as you need. Use it for two years, use it around the world oh. forever till you right. get what you want. The reason why I'm talking about, like I say, for example, a three month long period of time. Thank you, Claire, it's a good question. The reason why I'm talking about that is because what tends to happen if you're looking for local government who generally have control over public st uh, structures, your local public structures and facilities, is they tend to have 
um, windows of time for negotiation and you've got to go within that window of time. So say, for example, last year when we did the eco-housing project, which was with 20 stakeholders, we got in, you know, local disabled um, people involved, local youth, two expert um, um, uh, sustainability groups involved, is literally we had like a three month long window. We went from yeah. July, August to September and then the consultation closed in September. So we really had to kind of know where we are, where we were going. And that's why, so, so, so I use the Clapham Common example of, of no disrespect to them because we're all trying of saying if that if that campaign had started three months earlier they could have made an enormous fuss by that mm. point, okay by the time it comes to the closing of the consultation uh, and there are ways around it i'll show you I've, i do have another folder in here which is literally a media folder looking at how to um get hold of your local press and get your local press involved mm. so dial up all right okay so i'm just going to quickly put some text in here please excuse me right and i'm going to go exactly what it was i want us to hurry up here fuse right and i'm going to say barnsley rec Barnsley. i've just created this place by the way it's a fantasy place Barns barnsley rec is for everyone that's your tagline explaining exactly what you're after just check the font size ah too big far too big does it fit in <laughs> no let me make it a bit smaller so i'm just following the same process as 22 Come on, there we go. Barnsley records for everybody. Now, of course, we can't see it. We want to be able to see it, so it mimics our same color. So we go to format shape. Tell me to stop if I'm going too quickly. No fill. We want no line, so that it's totally transparent. And there we have it. Barnsley records for everyone. See that? Okay, effective. Now, what I want to show you is I want to show you the process of how to turn that into a photograph, because the problem is because you create it for free on face on, on, on any word document you need to create that you need to turn that into a jpeg a jpeg is a photograph because the jpeg is the format that that logos are done in or the images are done in when you put it onto facebook when you put it onto your twitter when you put it onto your instagram whatever your social media is all images online are in jpeg format right so here we go jpeg doesn't mean anything it just refers to the company that created it now what i'm going to also do is i'm going to also reference this Facebook page down here, which I mean is imaginary Facebook page, which would effectively be your free web page for your campaign. Instead of having to buy through a web server like Wix or GoDaddy or whatever it is, a Facebook page can be extraordinarily effective. People get thousands and thousands and thousands of people following them. You can also share your email templates for, for petitions through them, and you can even have MailChimp as an access. That's for further sessions just down the line. So I'm getting ahead of myself. I get excited by this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really okay <laughs> kind of embarrassing i'm a geek all right okay so here we go insert i'm just going to quickly do i'm going to move it on now i'm going to do the same thing again and i'm just going to put the facebook page underneath because effectively your facebook page is your web page so i'm going to go here same thing same deal and i'm going to just let me just quickly change the color so we've got the same thing format the shape all right sorry i am crazy about this stuff because i love um, I'm, I'm i'm intrigued by resourcefulness uh, and what resourcefulness can do for people. All right, here we go. Insert text box, draw text box. When I set up my Groundswell Ecosystems website in January and I was kind of urgently wanting to get it done, um, it literally just cost me a fiver a month, you know, um, to get started. Now I pay a little bit more, um, but still not significantly. Um, it's, still it's still extremely affordable. And it's got a very basic program in it so that it's manageable. Barnsley, whoopsie, this famous uh, Barnsley Recreation Ground for Right. So that's your Facebook page. And again, I'm just going to quickly do the same thing. Right, that's the name of your Facebook page. So people can effectively go and find that. All right. Line color. I'll just put it as no line doesn't matter, make any difference. Yeah, there we go. What did I, what did I want to do? Do I put it format? Come on, come on, it's no fill. There you go, I want it transparent. So there we go, I can make that a little bit bigger for you. So I'm really kind of taking my time here because these are quite useful things without having to pay a graphic designer. Never be held back by anybody or anything <laughs> being the basic rule, you know? Never be held back, there are ways around everything. It's my little motto, all right. All right, Facebook, that's a bit whatever low there. Let me just quickly move this. If you want to move it, there you go. Ah, I know why. It's because it's pink. That's why it's playing up. Let me just change it. 
let me just put it here as no fill and no line and then we'll be transparent there you go it's transparent now there we go and shift that up a little bit here we go and if you want to move things around you have to just get your try you have to get your arrows right so there we've got it just move it a little bit and if you want to move oh stop it sorry i do shout at computers sometimes i'm a little bit unkind towards a computer All right there we go right okay I'm going to leave that for the moment, but effectively you get the idea. So what we have there is we have, all right, a, a, something which we can use as save our field. We're now going to turn that into a photograph. Okay. And we're going to do that with no money, literally just going through the process. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to save the page, our updates. I created a new one, which I think is a slightly better looking one than this one. But of course you can play around with umpty things. Now what I have to do, to get it to turn into a JPEG, it's literally magic, it goes through various stages, is I have to turn it into a PDF. A PDF is a portable download file. And what that means is it saves its formatting. If I sent this to you right now, and if you don't have the same fonts on your computer, you might not see it the same as me, okay? But if I turn it into a JPEG first, you will see the same layout, okay? So I'm gonna go here, File, save as can you see that save as you should be able to see that it's coming up right now i'm going to go here right this is the creating a logo it's going to give me the option down here to save as type can you see that mm -hmm. can you yes. see that okay yes. save as type follow the drop down adobe by the way is free to download and it will change it here into this portable download file and i'll show you what happens here Portable download file, and I'm going to, it's, it, it generally defaults to open file after publishing, so you're going to see what it looks like when it opens. Save. Now what's happening is it's going to change this Microsoft Word document. It will effectively fix, it's like having a hairspray or something. It will fix the formatting. Right now, it's just a, it, the, the blue, little, the, the terrifying blue swirl. Right. <laughs> Bandwidth swirl. And that is swirling and it's going to come up with a PDF in a minute. Right. Here we go. We're now on step three. We're converting to Adobe PDF, a portable download file. Are you all right, Rachel? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay. So this is a lengthy process because I kind of want to cover everything and it will take time and it's a case of you know the videos will be long and I will timestamp them so that people can pick and choose the bits that they want you know right come on right ah blue swirl I think is doing its thing still it's it there's lots of files that are open that's why and and, and Scott obviously got um zoom on the go so here we go can you see this it's turning into another type of document can you see this um, not, not sure. No. Can you see something that um, that is not? It's in the center here. I'm going to have to quickly just change the screen. That's not a pos That's not a problem. Can you see a central document down the middle? Um, no. no we've still got the old view. You've still got the old one, right? Let me just quickly change the screen. I'm going to stop the share and change the screen. It's a nightmare. It doesn't have a continuous screen. You've got to constantly change the screen. So let me do that. Here it is. I'll change it to Adobe. Right. Okay, there it is. Can you see that? Yep. Yes. Now it's in Adobe, the little, the, little, the little red triangle thing. It's in Adobe right now. Okay, so there's our new logo, our new image over there. And this is, it saves the formatting. It basically sticks the formatting so that it doesn't lose its formatting. That's why they call it portable download. So that anybody can send in your formatting will be saved from computer to computer, okay? All right, you see that we now have a, we now have a PDF. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do right now is I'm now going to go online, and I'm going to show you the web page because there are many, many, many free services online where we are going to convert. All right, this logo, this this Adobe page, this PDF. We're going to convert it into a JPEG, which is a photograph. Okay. So I'm going to quickly just change the screen again. All right, I'm going to stop the share. Are we all good with this so far? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to go here to, I'm going to open up a new share. Right, get a new share. I want Google. Right, share. 
Okay, and I need to just hide this notification. Right, excuse me. It's in the way. This notification is in the way. Slow, slow, slow. Right, hide notification. Right, here it is. PDF. Click, click, click. Right. Can you see a web cert that says at the top of it, PDF to JPEG.net? Yep. Okay, good. So this is, there are many, many of these online. You can find whichever one you want, all right? So what we're going to do right now is we've taken our original Word document and we're turning it, and we're going to choose a PDF here to JPEG. All right, JPEG is photograph. All right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to change the quality. Right, I, I, I prefer just to get a high quality first time around. Come on, so slow. I'm going to go to excellent. I'm going to choose the PDF. Right, come on, choose the PDF. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. I'm not used to teaching adults. You're so attentive. <laughs> I'm used to teaching completely lovely, but fairly, fairly, um, say, you see we have there? The actual over there is our PDF. Which is a PDF. And then see the PDF. That's a PDF to convert it into a photograph. Okay? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go to open. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I love it. There she is. Hasn't clicked on it. Great. Okay. So now here it is. There it is. And we're going to convert it there, convert to, we're going to go uh, with excellent resolution, convert PDF to JPEG. Right. I love this because it is a free hack. It's a free hack. Mm -hmm. I do use Photoshop to um, pass it out and everything on a monthly thing, but this is literally a way of getting a straight and clear. Right. Okay. Yeah, you see that? Okay, so I'm going to go with download page two. It separates out the pages. We're going to download it. Yeah, it's just downloading there. As soon as you will get converted because it's an adverb. Okay, and Adobe, to, con to convert from, from Word to PDF is universal. Okay, so this you can always, and if you can't get the Adobe on your computer, which you should be able to, there are numerous Microsoft. If you if you ever want to convert a document, they do this for sound files as well. If you ever want to convert a Microsoft Word document to a PDF, just do that online as well. So here we go. Look at this. This is now in JPEG format. I'm going to just cut that and put it in the correct folder. Right. Sorry, you're so you're so good. I'm not used to adults teaching adults it's not my, my 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 day life okay there we go and i'm going to go here to creating a logo right here we go this is what we've been using i'm going to paste it down there right can you i will open it up in a second it's just moving it the computer's slow again come on come on come on Right, it's moving. Okay, so here we are. We took it from a Word document. Can you see this now that I've got all the folders open? Can you see a, can you see a folder that says creating a logo in Word at the top of it? No, it's just, for me, it's just got the big screen of PDF to JPEG. Good. Okay, let me just change this. Thank you so much. Let me just change this so I can show you, right? Wait a minute. Here we go. I'm just going to stop this share and start another share. This really annoys me. Right, okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you this one. Here we are. Right. Can you see that now? Where it says save our field word logo demo document um, two page JPEG at the end. Can you see that? Yeah, that's there. That yeah. is now a photograph. All right, and it's, I'm going to open it up for you now. All right, I'm just going to click on it. And if I have to, I'll quickly change the screen again. Hmm. Let me just open it and then I'll change the screen if I need to, if you can't see it. I wish it had continuous screen sharing. Right, it's opening. 
Thank you for your patience. No, I don't think we can see that. I know. I'm just busy waiting for oh. it to open. I, okay, I, sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's what's going on. It's 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 over. The computer's overtaxed. This is an old, like workhorse of a Toshiba. But, but thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the swirling blue circle. <laughs> okay, here we go. Can you see something that says photo gallery at the top? I'll, sc I'll change the screen if we need. Can't see anything with photo gallery. Okay, I'll change it right now. That's fine. I just opened it up. All right, I'll just open. I'm going to stop the share and start the share again. Okay, start the share and let's go here. There we go. Right, share. Can you see that? Should we? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can you see that? Where it says photo gallery at the top. Yes. Okay, excellent. So what you're doing right now is you're effectively in this program, which shows you your photos. It's the same as opening up any photo that from what was originally a Microsoft Word document, this is now a photo. Right. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we obviously wanna chop it up a bit because we don't need the whole page. So I'm gonna go here, file. We're gonna just chop it a bit. I'm gonna go to file. Very slow. Open with paint. Now, most computers will have paint. And even if you're on your, 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 your Mac, um, your, your Mac uh, um, uh, pad or whatever it is, iPad, it will always give you the option to crop a photograph. Okay? Cropping means just changing the size. You will always have that option to crop a photograph there on even the most basic, you know, a phone will always have an option to crop. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up right now in paint. Okay, step by step. It is slow. Once it opens in paint, I will show you how we're going to crop it to turn it into an image that is simply the one thing. And then I'm going to show you what it would be like to open up a change dot image. Here we are. Can you see this with that where it's in paint that it says paint at the top? You can't see paint, can you? No. Okay, let's change the screen again. All right, let me change. Thank you for this. All right. Share screen, All right, paint. All right, here we are with paint, share. All right, I'm gonna, tell me when you can see. Yeah, that's yes. Nice. Can you yeah. see that? Okay, excellent, fantastic. All right, thank you for your patience. I'm gonna go to view, because we need to be able to see it. All right. So what, I, zoom out, zoom out. There we go, That's there it is. Okay, there is what we created in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word does not automatically convert to photographs at all. You have to send it via the PDF process, okay? Now what we're gonna do is obviously we wanna just get out what we need. So we go to home, we go to select, yeah, click there. And now I'm gonna take that, that, the, the, that you know, the, the, the crosshairs or whatever it is, and I'm gonna take them from the corner. I'm gonna scroll down and there's our logo. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm chopping out there, I let it go. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to File, New, and I'm gonna go to Paste, Zoom Out, All right, and there we go, All right? There is effectively what is now a clear campaign, a clear campaign heading and target this has got your save our field. It could even be for Clapham Common. If you could do one for the current campaign, which is, which is don't sell Clapham Common. Barnsley Rec is for everyone. You're telling, you're telling them what, what, what you care about. And then there you go. Your Facebook page is effectively a web page for the campaign. This here is now completely a usable photograph right across all media, across Facebook, websites, Twitter, um, Instagram, Wherever you need, it is now a photograph, much as literally as if you took a photograph of your cousin standing in front of you. It is now 100% in photograph form and ready to be used online. And so effectively, you've got yourself a free logo from Microsoft Word just through using the conversions. I hope I've done that slowly enough. I will certainly um, timestamp it on the video so that anybody can check the process. Now what I want to do, so I'm going to go here to File, Save As, and we want to keep it as a JPEG. Don't worry about these different other types. We just generally want to use JPEG. Don't worry about PNG. We're looking for JPEG, which is a photograph. 
Okay. So, right, as it says here, I just want to quickly quickly show you this. All right. I want to show you this again quickly. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, come on. Can you see? This bandwidth is horrific. All right, absolutely horrific. Right, and then we're going to open up a campaign on change.org. Right, so here we go. Come on. Thank you for your patience. Over okay, stop it. Right, I've got to, okay, I want to just quickly show you this. When we go to fair, oh, stop it. Right. Sorry, this is. Okay, screen sharing has stopped as the shared window is closed. Right, let me just quickly open this up again. I'm going to go back to screen share because I want to talk about this process. Where are we? We should be in paint. Here we are. Share, please forgive me. Right, okay. It's, it just clunked itself out. It's my computer. It's just not the greatest. Thank you for your patience. What I want to do by 5.30 is I'm going to show you how to set up a, set up a petition on change.org using this logo, right? So that you would have, this is effectively your first step, right? So let's go here to just quickly do this again. It just kind of died on me. Forgive me. Right, home. Can you see the paint, the paint program? Mm. No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. Sorry, let me just quickly change. Oh, let me just change that. I've just changed the screen. Thank you. Right. I want the paint program. Right. Paint. Here we are. This is it. Share. Right. I'm going to do the same thing here because I want to show you this process uh, about what it says about JPEGs. There we go. There's your logo. Right click to copy. Go to file, go to new, right. Don't save, don't worry about it. You've got plenty of copies of it. Paste, zoom out. There you go, there's your logo. And what I want to show you here is when we go to file, we're going to save it. Save as, when it says JPEG, save a photo with good quality and use it on your computer in email or on the web. That's what we're looking for. Okay, I'm going to go to that. JPEG, we're saving as a JPEG. I'm just going to put it in the correct folder so it doesn't get lost. Okay. Right. Go here. Okay, let's go here. Just down a bit. Sorry. I'm just putting it in the right place. I'll have to probably change the screen in a minute. Thank you so much for your patience. I just want to save it. Right, and I'm just going. I'm going to call it "Save Our Field Logo." Right, I'm going to just call it Logo One. Change the screen in a minute, and you can see that. And then we're going to open up a petition. Right, right. Here we are. Okay, stop the share. Oh. Right, I'm going to do a new share, a new share. Thank you for your patience. I have to just say this a million times because I'm, I'm, I don't like the speed of my computer. Right, share screen. Right, where are we? Here we are. Right. Can you see in front of you now a folder with various things in it? It's got a green around it. Can you see this? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's our Save Our Field logo one. Right, that's the logo that we created. Right, and now that is a photograph, 100% a photograph. We started here in the Word document. We converted it to that. It, it then got converted online into a JPEG. All right, and then we chopped it. In our, in our paint, we just cropped the photograph and we turned it into that usable. It doesn't have to be hyper chic. It's just basically a usable target. And the target is save Barnsley Rec, save our field. Barnsley Rec is for everyone. So now we've got our, effectively our campaign title with logo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a petition online 
to support that using that image as the campaign title. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the web right now. I'm going to stop the share because it won't carry on. Yeah, I'm going to stop the share. New share. Hang on, hang on, hang on. New share. Right, I'm going to, where's the web? Here it is. There it is. Share. Okay. Right. So we're going to go here to change.org. Yeah. You're right here. Can you see change.org? Yeah. On the screen. Yes. Can you see that? Right. So now what we want to do is we want to create a, an account. This is what you will always have to do. Okay. So our target right now is we're going to stop Barnsley Rec being sold off. Okay. So here we go start a petition. Start a petition. Right. Where are we? Come on. A little bit slow. Right, this is just very slow. I need to shut down other other pages. Right, here we are. Okay, human rights, environment. Let's call it environment. Yeah. Right, this is our area. Okay, so now I'm going to create a petition on change.org to support our plan to save the field. And in fact, the absolutely analogous campaign that was going on right now is actually the stop the commercialization of Clapham Common one. Right, environment. Continue. Okay. Right, what, write your petition, um, save. I'm going to use the same thing as the save uh, Barnsley Rec. Barn, Barn, whoopsie, Barn, can't spell. Barnsley Rec is, I'm going to give it all capital is for, for everyone. Yep. This is a sample. Don't worry, I'll delete the, the petition later. I, I just want to show you how to set it up. Okay, can you all see that? Mm -hmm. Good. Continue. There we go. Who has the power to make this change? So now let's just say we've got Barnsley Council. Oh dear, I hope this doesn't come up. I'm, I, I will delete the petition. I don't want to. <laughs> Barnsley Council. Okay, that's who we're after because they want to sell it off. Right? right. Barnsley. Okay. Barnsley Council, right, continue. The most successful petitions, three paragraphs long, so that's absolutely fine. Explain the problem, all right? There we go, they're talking about what is the campaign. Now, now this, what I would suggest here at this particular point in time is I suggest in general, do not duplicate your texts. Try to keep one core text right throughout all your social media, not only for messaging purposes, but literally just for your own hassle value, okay? So we're gonna say here, I'm gonna say here, I'm just going to write a text, save our field, Barnsley Rep, Sonia can't spell, it's just fantastic, Barnes, Barnsley Rec, I can't spell, excuse me, Barnsley Rec is for everyone, okay, and you're going to say here, and this is a classic problem, just like the Clapham one, Barnsley Council is attempting to sell, just like Wormwood Scrub is happening right now with the HS2, is to sell off a large and and often used, this is just typical corner um, section, not corner, section of our local recreation area for commercial development. This is an absolute classic. This is what they do. And they don't have, they don't need the money, they do this. It's not correct. And they do, and they often send these sell these things off with no space for social housing. They, they, they basically, you know the drill. They gentrify and they kick off everybody. Well, it's essentially a large and often new section of a local. This is completely unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable to our local community, particularly our young people, our young, our young and very old um, members as they use it frequently, sporting and dog walking purposes. Okay, Barnsley Council example, Barnsley Council needs to respect the rights and voices of local tax paying residents and here and here are many voices and here are many voices 
in a, a, a in a, in this in a democrat in in a democratic in a democratic negotiation of this land. Right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly highlight it and copy it because I'm going to. What I would generally do here is save it in another area. Right. Great. There we go. Keep going. Add a photo. Now, this is where we're going to upload your logo. Upload photo. Yep. So it captures the emotion of your story. Now, of course, you could upload in, in, on your Facebook page. You could put personal testimonials. And there is our logo that we created on Word. Okay, there it is. Click, open. Okay, what's going on? Save and preview. Right, just going to preview it. What's that? You I said, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can't see the page. <laughs> that's, thank you. You can't see the page that says add a photo or video, can't you? So it's clearly just uploading right now. This is just the stuff which tells you about the petitions for government. Oh, and I want to show you that quickly before we go as well. All right. Come on. Right. Come on. Okay. I'm going to try it again. It obviously got overtaxed. Can you see add a photo or video? Yes. Yep. Good. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do it again. Save our field. Here we go. It's pretty much happened last year when a whole lot of people wanted cycle lanes in Holland Park Road, yeah, in Kensington and Chelsea, and local residents, particularly, and I don't want to get into any kind of nitty gritties here, uh, particularly uh, affluent um, residents from, from, from Raj Residents Associations, gathered up their people power and nixed that cycle path. Yeah, because they did, they saw that cycle path and pedestrianization as being a way of reducing the house prices. Actually, typically, apparently, it does the very opposite. It actually makes prices rise because you have cleaner air quality, safer places for children to play. All right. So, but that was a typical example of what happened with that level of people power. They completely nixed that process. It was a direct nixing of that process. Okay. And just by way of another example, just recently I was in a meeting with the Better Streets for Kensington and Chelsea people, and they were doing pretty much the same thing. They were looking at a campaign and they wanted people to take part. They were like, we need people to sign a petition. We need people to email the council because these numbers really get the attention. Okay, they get the attention of councillors because, in my opinion, what people in power care about more vividly, possibly, than necessarily people or the community, is they care about shame and reputation. And we need to collectivize these efforts so that we create not just in real life actions, but URL as in URL as in as in as in web action. So there we go. Now here we have this, and then we, what we want to think here is we want to think about publishing it. I'm going to publish it. Take a ridiculous step, which is actually great because. It's going to show you what will give you the options to share it. And this is where you're going to start pulling together your campaign. Right. There we go. Almost done. Everything looks good. We're just publishing right now. Right. Now we're going to share it on Facebook. Okay. And that's when you start cooking with gas. Oops, that's the wrong word. Cooking with solar. All right. Share on Facebook. Now my Facebook is connected right now. I'll take it off my Facebook soon, but it's just the sample. This is when you're starting to see the links and about how you're going to use free social media that you can completely con well, control. I mean, control is a big question, right? What would the face what Facebook's allowed to see of you and everything? But post to Facebook, you're certainly using the systems and structures as they are here already. Right, sorry, it's taking time. Can you see in the middle it says post to Facebook? Exactly. So I'm going to go post to Facebook news feed. I'm going to put it on my news feed. Can you see that? 
No. Okay, you can't see where it says post to Facebook. You saw where it said share on Facebook and saw that you clicked there, but it hasn't moved okay. on. Okay, let's that. just wait a second. Thank you. Sorry, Rachel. Let's just wait a second and see if it comes up. So we can get to that. Because it might be separate. Let me just do let me just do a new one. Excuse me. Ooh. Right, let me do a new screen share. Right, where am I? Post to Facebook. Here it is. Right, here it is. Can you see this? Can you see in the center? Not yet. Ooh, this is there you go. Can you see it now? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, fine. So now I've just taken my campaign text, which I've copied and pasted, just put it into a separate Word document, and there you go. Okay, there you go. There is your campaign. All right, post to Facebook. I'm posting it to my Facebook. I'll delete it all shortly enough. All right, now I'm going to take you to my Facebook, and we're going to see it on my timeline. Oops, screen sharing. Hide the notification. I don't like this notification. Right. Hide the notification. But I'm going to start a new screen share. We're going to go to Word. I mean, we're going to go to Google. Come on. Uh, uh, right, excuse me. And I'm going to go to my Facebook. Can you see a blank page that says, can you see that? I'm with yes. you. Okay, cool. We're just waiting for it to come up. Sorry, it's just notoriously slow. Right, here we go. So now, oops. So let me just see what's going on here. Let me just quickly re refresh it. Terribly slow computer. Bless it. Workhorse computer, but very slow. That howling in the background is foxes. <laughs> oh God, is it this time? It sounds like something different. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I dream of a fast computer. Can't see anything yet. This is so frustrating. Oh, and take away the converter. Hide the notifications. Get back. Yeah, yet. Yep. See that? I'm just waiting for the for the one time which shows the petition. There we go. Okay, see that? Okay. What happens is it tends to chopped off. In one of our next sessions, I will show you how to turn that, in fact, into a montage so nothing gets chopped out. And they're very easy ways to do that without having to use anything fancy. It's part of the layout app. Um, so there you go. So we started off with deciding what we want to achieve. Okay, so they're going to be sold off by council of local residents with a tax paying democratic local tax paying voting local residents. Um, and so what's happening, just like the Clapham Common one, is they want to. Can you see when I click on the Clapham Common? Protect Clapham Common. Can, have, you, have you just seen the change of screen? Yeah, it's just no. loading. Just loading. Okay, so, so if it's part of the campaign, precisely the campaign, okay, what you do is that, and you can do that, it would then share that wherever you needed to share it. In terms of what we've got, I'm just going to quickly obviously list what we've covered today. What we did is just governance structures, basic governance, petition numbers, petition numbers and systems, negotiation windows, etc., which aren't always the same period of time, by the way. They're very much not, that some of them can take ages and ages and ages. So say, for example, the London housing strategy to include sustainability has taken months and months and months. It's London-wide. So they tend to change. So don't always say it's, it's three months was just an example. We've looked at creating a logo in Word. All right, we talked at setting up a petition in change.org. Okay, and we've looked at sharing that to Facebook. So that's a start. What we really would do here, rather than just share to my personal Facebook, and firstly, I'll sh and, and on top of that, I'll show you how to change it so you can see all the image so it's not chopped. There's a way around that, which is easy. I'll show you next time. Uh, instead of just sharing to my personal Facebook, when you do share, you get the option to share to your page. So say, for example, myself, I've got 
um, their pages and groups, and I'll explain how they work. Now, right across London, there's literally for 30 out of 33 boroughs, there is a fa either a Facebook page or a Facebook group. Uh, there are options for them. You either get that you either have to request to be part of them, or they're open and public. Okay, that applies to both pages and groups. Okay, so you might want to just set it up to be totally open. All right, what you would also do then, because effectively your Facebook page is a free website. Instead of paying for anything or setting up anything or buying a domain name, effectively look at that. That that bit up here, which says blah 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 Nicola Kent, is actually a domain site that anybody can access from anywhere. All right. Um, that is what you're doing on Facebook. When you set up a page, you're getting a web page for free. And what you would do is for your campaign, you would go save our field, Barnsley Records, for everyone, forgive the chopping off your sort that out another day. And you would have the Facebook page from it. Then you would, sh you would share your, 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 you would say, this is our aim. This is the consultation date. And then you would start sharing that all over the place as much as you could. You would invite people to like the page. You would make everybody wait. Like say, for example, right now, I work with North Kensington Community Energy. They are doing solar funded, um, solar Solar, solar projects in North of Kensington because they've got a community funded model where basically they sell shares. For example, they've got the West West Sports Centre, they just sold shares. They are selling shares in, in the solar panels on top of that, a 3% interest with a 55% of all funds raised go towards a community fund. And we are hustling via Facebook, hustle is the wrong word. We are, we are doing PR via Facebook, we're doing via whatever channels and literally we're almost to our targets already. So, and we've checked our numbers. We've checked the statistics for those who've been investing and a huge percentage of those who've been investing have come through personal contacts via Facebook. It's an extremely, extremely, extremely effective form of, 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 of connecting with people because it's personal. So you will have your links, other people will have their links and they kind of come together in that way. Um, so, uh, so, so that, that is, and on top of that, you would have your, you want people as well, not only to sign a petition to really put the council on notice that people are not happy. And those people are the electorate. That's why they jump because they want to get reelected. That's why they jump through hoops for this. Not only are you putting them on notice about numbers. Okay. You would also have an email template. This is all on the G drive folder that I'm sharing with you. I'll, I'll, I'll send it all out. It's, it's there right now. It's ready and waiting. I'll just share my webpage for this project up on into the group. If you want to have a look right now, tomorrow I will edit the video. Um, Rachel, if you would like me to take off your name, I can do so. It would be fairly extensive in terms of 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 having to go after different screen placements of it. So uh, I would no, don't worry. No, that's fine. Thank you. It would be an extraordinary kind of labyrinthine task. Thank you so much because I have to go after that with a, you know, effectively like a, a blocker on it. Thank you so much. Um, and um, and you would have your email template, the example email templates in the Google Drive folders. I want to quickly take you to those in a second. Just I'm just going to quickly change screen. Wait a minute. I just want to ask if you can see this. Have you? Can you see that it's gone white and that you've got a blue swirl up here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, this is going to come up right now with the folder that I've got. This is a Google Drive folder. It's a Google Drive folder which is on my web page. I will share that this evening. All right, we've got updated samples in there from what, from the logo that we created together now. Um, oh, so slow. And on there, there are also email templates, sample ones that we used last year that we real, used in real time. Um, where you can, um, where you just encourage all your participants to copy. Because it will show this video on this live page. I'm just going to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, over here. All right. Um, uh, there are loads of documents, petition guidance, council and activities, student techniques. There's all things you can look at. There are loads there. Um, uh, the different different bits of guidance, different things. There's also all those email apps. There's some of the 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 email apps. Go back to Zoom. Oh, it's on seven. It's on five thirty. So we've covered it right up to. We've covered it up to sharing on Facebook. What I want to do next time is I want to look at Facebook pages and groups. 
right? I want to look at emails and te email templates and mail outs. I want to look at quick photo editing as well. Okay, um, and hang on a second. And I want to look at document saving and sharing from your phone. Unbelievably useful. That's a game changer for sharing stuff. All right, so quick questions. Was that okay? Yes, that was yeah. okay. thank you. Um, was it too quick? I should have asked you this. Was it too quick? Was it too slow? No, it was fine. Okay. Hmm. Right. So this will be on video. I will timestamp the separate sections. I will run the next one on Sunday the 13th and I will have to edit up this video tomorrow to put things in different sections and just label them, etc, etc, etc. Thank you so much for your participation. I would like to apologize on behalf of my cranky old Toshiba computer that is kind of like cranking it out for the for the slowness and sorry for the for the um the page switching issues. It's it doesn't have a continuous switch, which can be a living nightmare. And I'm kind of getting Thank used to it. Thank you for all your hard work. Yeah, it was really interesting. Thank you. As long as you th you're welcome, I've been meaning to do it for ages and I thought, okay, I'll just do it right now and I can do it as then as a finite resource and it's on online and etc. So I don't have to keep on, you know, wittering on about it. But um, hopefully it can be purposeful and useful so that actually every time you do something, you aren't, it's in real life and in URL. One last example I want to leave you with, sorry, to, I don't want to hold you up, I'm 32, 532, is what happened is they did that, they did the, the Holland Park cycle um, route action and they, um, and they set out a whole lot of it was XR, Kensington and Chelsea and XR, Hammersmith and Fulham. And they said they created their own, they chalked in their own, contemporary chalked in their own cycle path. Okay. And what happens that was removed the next day. But by that stage, it wasn't just an action. It became, it didn't last for very long because it's part of a bigger thing. But what happened is that people on the day took their phones, their basic little phone, any phone, Right, they've all got they've got all got very good cameras in them, basically. Right. I make all my YouTube videos on my phone with a free editing program. And they and, and you vid, you video the, the proceedings, video the proceedings that was edited into a showreel. That showreel made it onto the news. It made it on not the news, but it made it into London media. It were, there was a Twitter storm around it because people were able to recreate the action via watching mm -hmm. the video. And that's where it's about. With a few hacks, with a few cheap and free ways around it, you get to consolidate your actions so that you aren't just doing stuff that, that flies away so quickly. And that cycle campaign didn't last just the one night when it got washed away by the council the next day. It lasted into the news. It lasted into Jeremy Vine. It lasted into a whole lot of commentary, stuff that becomes part of a broad, broader debate because they use the digital technology, simple digital technology with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you for, for your time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. See you on the 13th. Yes, you're absolutely welcome. We're going to keep on going with our save the field. Don't tell anybody I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete the petition. <laughs> <laughs> I know what bonds because of what's going on. That's okay. <laughs> not what I want in my life. Take care. Thank you. So thank much. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.